What's going on guys? Coach Madden, YougoProBaseball.com. We are here with Ronald Bolaños, Hector Berrios, Vladimir Gutierrez. 98 miles an hour, 103 miles an hour, topping out. And I want to pick the pitching coach's brain. How to throw faster. How do you throw faster? How do you help guys throw faster? Give us the inner secret. I don't want you to keep all this, these secrets to yourself. Let us know how you got guys throwing this fast and, and I want to know it all. So I, I can honestly start by saying that I don't have any scientific evidence that this is the reason why this happens. But I can only explain to you what we do behind the scenes uh, when we're working with them. And they, first and foremost, they're, they're tremendously hard workers. They come in here, they have the discipline, they have the desire to want to get better, and, and they make these techniques as, as perfect as they possibly can. So one of the things that we use is that we have the resistant bands, and these resistant bands just gives them uh, instant feedback to the movement, all right? So I can explain to them what I want them to do, but unless they feel it, it's not gonna be the same. So I believe there's a, a bigger impact for them to feel the movement. So what we do with these bands is that we go through the motion. Our motion is we lift here, we finish, we make sure we finish the, the lift, and then we begin a roll. Once that roll happens, this back, this lead leg kind of leads the way, but they have resistance to keep it closed. Vladdy had a tendency to open up that front foot and he's like, there was no stability on his landing. So this really helps him have a feeling of staying closed because of that resistance. Uh, once he does that movement and he incorporates the back hip, the back hip pushes that, that heel pushes forward. And now the, the knee, the hip and the, and the heel are in a great position for him to start the rotation. When they talk about hip and shoulder separation, uh, we really concentrate on the legs being the important part here. The, he has rotation of the knee, the hip, and the heel in the back. And now I can feel that power, all right? Because he's so important here. When I let him go, there's an explosive movement that comes out of there. A lot of people don't like these slow movements or these um, do, doing everything in slow motion. They want the body to move fast. We just do it the contrary. We move a little slow, all right? We want them to feel the actual movement of what they're doing each step of the way. And once they do that, then we get them to move fast uh, by adding a towel in their hand, getting them on the slope, and then we just, just go. The, the towel is just a prop, and it's just for them to feel uh, resistance when they're releasing the ball. Is this something every pitcher should be doing, or is it different? Is Vlad doing something different than Ronald? Can younger guys do this? What's your take on that? This is what I do, all right? To be able to send the message of how the body moves. Uh, I'm a pitching coach that it took me 15 years at the professional level to really understand the delivery. And I had to be in the Dodger organization for this to happen. Rick Honeycutt was there, Rafael Chavez, uh, Kershaw was coming up. And this is the way they did things. If you look at Kenley Jansen and all of them, they have that type of movement. We have a little bit more modified here. But the big important thing is for them to feel into resistance. Everything we do is a sensory drill. Everything that we do. We have weighted balls, but the weighted balls are not to be thrown as hard as they possibly can. It's just for them to feel their arm. Where is their arm in connection to their body so they don't go away from the arm? And the strength that that leg provides to help that arm get into, into uh, a nice laid back position or external rotation or whatever. Uh, so Vlad has a bunch of mosquito bites everywhere, all over him. <laughs> they all bit up. <laughs> what, is this helping with strength, power, muscles, mostly mechanics? What's the, the main uh, idea behind this? Well, the whole thing is, if you if, if we look at it from the front, all right, uh, shift over to the front. Okay. The, the idea is when he glides down that slope and he wrote, uh, he, he, he's driving down the slope with the drive phase, the big key is to stay back. Stay back, meaning that the upper body is slightly behind the hip. And if you do that, it's like a hitter. A hitter has his hands connected to the back. He loads and that front shoulder comes back. This allows him to maintain that shoulder there and there's a connection completely to the back side. Now he has everything where it needs to be to start rotating forward. So if he rotates, he rotates, what you start to see is his hand gets right here and now his hand gets into a great position here. And once he's in layback, the thing when they talk about pull downs, the tricep and the shoulders 
help him pull that, that form and the hands down with, with power. And then you follow through with your lap. A lot of pitchers in this day and age, they get here, their leg is low coming around, and you see a recoil real quick. But what we want is the big muscles, the legs, and that big lat to get through the pitch after it's released. I noticed Toronto, I saw a video where he, I believe he did that one time. Is that something that you're working on together? What kind of, I saw a kind of recoil on it, it might have been an old video, but is that something you're working on specifically with him in this drill? Well, it's, yeah, the finishing, the, the, we want, we want, it's, we think like boxers, you know, they go from zero to a hundred real quick. So that's what we're trying to develop here is how I can go real fast. If I have my big muscles behind this hand, now they have a lot of power to help that hand. We don't want anything to get in front of that hand. If that happens, here's this, the, that little stretching uh, that you see here or the elbow, it just kind of like sequences itself, it's down the, the arm. and. The only thing that is putting these connect uh, these uh, ligaments together, rather the bones together, is the ligaments and holding that uh, the, the 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 joint together. So if you do that over a long period of time and you keep stretching it, what's going to happen? Something's got to give, and that's how you have the tears. You can get as big and strong as you want, but if you have a delivery that is inefficient with time, something's going to happen, and it's going to cut your career short possibility and you see that with big strong guys in the game you know I don't have to name any names but they get as big as strong as they want but those ligaments don't hold up if they're doing something inefficient that makes a lot of sense like obviously these guys big strong powerful guys and you were talking about he was early supinating sometimes uh -huh. I can imagine this drill with the with the uh, band here you really can't do that because you're going to feel it pulling on the side yes you have that, that's the instant feedback that we're talking about and, and uh, Bola, right now, Bolaños has a tendency to bring that thumb up a little too early and it stays behind that elbow as he's lifting that arm up. We want him to, to stay supinated into now, you know, uh, with this position right here, lay back. And now, that that's when you have that stretch. Everybody talks about the stretch. Our stretch is derives from the lower half. Even that front side, we talk about this front side. Uh, we emphasize that front side, holding this. Look at that. When he holds this side up, now he's in a tremendous power position. Now when he rotates that lower half, he'll take me with him. It's gonna be hard for me to hold the ball. So that's the leverage part. But we also use the Velo Pro Bell. You know, the Velo Pro Bell, we just added an extra piece. We added a, what they call a thigh, a thigh strap, another bungee cord, another stirrup. So now we're working both legs. We just got a, a new a vest, and the vest is is now attached to them with more bungee cords. And now it's that guy that has that tendency to want to lead with it with his head or his trunk. We get him in a position where now he has more resistance. He's gonna bring the trunk with rotation and get out there, as opposed to just flipping off, not using the legs and being out here, kind of off balance and unleveraged. So all he's doing is putting them in the best position to create the best arm speed possible. So if they're, if they're back and they're using their legs and then the trunk comes at the right time, boom, I'm gonna have so much arm speed here. I don't wanna be in front and causing my arm to be late. And that's basically trying to simplify it. Again, the most important thing, we don't have any scientific evidence, but we know that it's helped them and it's helped many other guys. That, that makes a lot, a lot of sense. Is there anything that you guys want to add, like your your perspective from this drill and it's how, how it's helped you? De todas estas cosas que estamos hablando, que es la lo que tú piensas que te ha ayudado con tu con tu fuerza y tu mecánica a través de, de, de sentir esta resistencia. Esto, esto es una de las cosas que también que influye también como haciendo pesas porque los ejercicios nosotros hacemos en la pesa que hacemos pesa para arriba no nos fortalece los músculos pequeños y de estas ligas de tantos ejercicios que nosotros hacemos nos fortalece y en el momento que nos fortalece los músculos pequeños que nosotros tenemos y no va a estar como dolores para lesionarme ¿no? porque ya veo no sé cuántos años a mí nunca me ha dolido el brazo gracias a Dios porque ya yo tengo esto ya como que me fortalece el brazo mismo y aparte de eso que hacemos los ejercicios correctamente no nos mandamos a lo loco tampoco, lo hacemos correctamente como estaba explicándole, teníamos la pierna atrás y manteniendo todo el tiempo cerrado, cuando uno está encerrado, esto te está ayudando, ¿me entiendes? No está abriéndote así, porque 
brazos están cortando el brazo, no nada. Pero lo que hace es ayudar el brazo, no se que en ese lado, ayuda el brazo para que... So he says that this influences strength because he is, is controlled, right, with the movements, but it's also strengthening those little small areas that usually you don't touch on with just regular weights. And it's basically influencing the, the, the actual movement that he needs on the mound. He needs to stay closed. He needs to stay dark. He needs to use his legs. So everything is accomplished in his drill and he can really feel it in his, in his movements, which is something that is particularly hard to do. I think he's hungry. We got, you got to take him to eat after this. But, uh, ¿Cómo te ayuda? Él me ha ayudado de diferentes de diferente formas. Una, a cambiar la mecánica mía completa. Que de estar aquí a estar aquí atrás, eh, tener un, una, una rotación correcta, de, 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 empieza todo de, de, de la punta del talón hacia la cadera. Eh, todo fue diferente. Todo fue diferente para mí. Y gracias a eso tenemos mejor comando de, de la de los picheos, tenemos mejor secuencia de, de los picheos y gracias a eso estoy en, en, en Grandes Ligas y lo único que me hace falta es tener la consistencia y no tener más, más lesiones, mucha salud. Yeah, well, so. he, he says that he kind of like had to revamp everything because he used to have that that serious inverted W. He, he got a little too far back at some point. Uh, but this has really helped him get to the happy medium where he's in a position where now he can repeat. Because at the end of the day, is at the level that they're at is being able to have a repeatable delivery and be able to command the baseball, be able to throw your fastball at both sides of the plate up, uh, be able to throw your breaking ball for strikes and, and be able to expand the zone. Keep them off balance with your change up and your, your off-speed stuff, especially hitting counts. And that's what they understand the importance of this. So they really pay detailed attention. This is one of the, the things that they come every single day. They get on the band, they have their routine to do because they know that they need this. This is a very vital piece in order for them to do and, and, and have success at the big league level. Well, that's great stuff, guys. I really appreciate I appreciate your time. I appreciate all the information that's going to be helpful to a lot of these um, young players, young pitchers that aspire to be where you guys are, you know, dads of young players. And are, I'm sure are going to be really grateful for this content. So thank you very much. Thank you, Hector, for spilling all the beans and the secrets. I appreciate you always. Uh, guys, if you're in Queens, New York, check them out. Prime Sports Center, beautiful facility. Um, if you got any questions, comments, drop them down below. We'll be happy to uh, answer any questions that you have. Check out, I think got a great book. He wrote the book on pitching, pretty much. He was my pitching coach in the Mets organization. Unleash the Pitcher in You. Check it out, Amazon.com. Of course, Broken Man Target, best target in the game. These guys are to it today. Really great stuff. Thank you to everyone. See you in the next video.